Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off the Record where we talk about what? What? Uh, uh, this fool is about cool? to put his Rolex in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at this. I'm this close to buy another one? No, to selling. Oh shit! Thing. Why? You're gonna sell them? everything. How much you sell? Do it. Sell for. <laughs> we gonna sell it for. Is it on this one? What? You're selling yeah, everything? I could probably sell maybe for. Fifty bucks. I'll buy it. <laughs> I'll demo you right now. I think you can sell that for like <laughs> 17, 18 Gs. Some guns. Something. Okay. Except for my mountain bike and my surfboard. Maybe a mountain bike and a surfboard. It's on the wrong hand, my friend. I know, I didn't fit. Oh, I let me know. But why, why do you want to sell your Rolex for? I don't know, I'm thinking about, that yeah. one has that, that one has very good sentimental values. But the other one. You have two? Yeah, I could sell that one. But the other one, it dropped in price, so it's kind of like, fuck, dude. Oh. He might buy the other one. I think he's looking at ones that are similar to the other one. Oh, it was a master too. For how much? Is that the one you have? I don't know, whatever the market value is. Well, I'm just thinking about it. Hold on, guys. I'm not ready to sell. You, you know what I mean? Just it it I know. There's so many people out there. I said I want to buy it. They, they're ready to buy. Hey, Joe, bring it to my house. I have a date, Just. You can Venmo me. I got a bunch of weapons. How small is your wrist? Oh, uh, wait. Uh, there's, I got connectors for you. It could, it could, it could, you could resize it. What? Can I, can I buy one of your non-gun weapons? Sure. With yeah. like what? Like his, oh, his Nordic yeah, axe? His, yeah, like, like the samurai axe. sword. Oh, his... Give it to you. You don't have to. I have an axe you can have right no, here. We we don't have any sort of weapons other than a hammer. Oh, don't say that. This fool said, I have an axe. <laughs> He's like, He's like yeah, like, we welcome to our house. Come <laughs> check us. No, no, no. We don't have weapons, <laughs> but we do have a security no, system. By, no, by the end of this video today, I'm gonna. they're going to go home with a weapon, so don't worry. Yay! We finally get a weapon. Um, <laughs> no, well, one thing Yay! is. He's like, I got an axe right yes, here. Yeah. Yeah. The idea of minimalism. Like, I got a lot of shit, right? And I can always buy more shit. It's, yeah. The thing is, like, what really makes me happy is one, playing outside in nature, yeah. and two, investing. That Those oh. two things ex excite the fuck out of me. The rush. Dude, just get five white shirts, five black shirts. Have your, like, nice stuff if you ever need it, like, tucked away. Just, like, a few of them. Right? Yeah, same guy. shorts, same pants. Yeah. Like two pairs of pants, five pairs of shorts, or like two pairs of shorts. Yeah, you could just That's give it. all your sentimental value things, like your childhood stuff, to your mom. She could hold it for you, and then you have or minimum Or just life. invest everything into nature. Like throw your money into the wild. He got yeah. shocked. He really take your Take your you. watch, throw it at the- Oh, no! <laughs> Tell me when you do that, I'm gonna go pick it up. Casey's dressed as a tree. <laughs> Casey's dressed as a tree. <laughs> He's like, put on my branch, baby. <laughs> Casey's like, ooh, got a new one. It's already on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So all this other stuff, right? I feel like, okay, the more shit you got, the more things you have to clean, mm -hmm. the more things you got to stow away. I just started thinking about this stuff, right? Because I got a big place for by myself. And I'm like, when you have a big space, it's easy to fill it. You don't want roommates? I don't want roommates. I wanna, I wanna get away from this. Because I was like, what makes me happy is not this space. What makes me happy is when I'm out with my friends. I just use this space to cook and sleep. So I don't Too need Too much a, for you. No, like it, maybe it will change if I have a family and-, and Well, what? you have a living room, so you had to buy a TV. You had to buy a couch. But you don't sit on it and watch TV. No, I never watch TV. That's why it's like, this is not according to my lifestyle. So it's wasteful. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, what can I be doing? Like, for example, with my rent or right, whatever, right? That's four G's a month. Am I happier using that four G's on just buying crypto or freaking even gambling that money? Yeah, that shit makes me way fucking happier, right? Yeah. Or like if I saved it up for a couple of months and let's say my friend knocks on my door and goes, hey man, I got this wild ass idea. You won't have a door though if you saved it up. N knocks on my van door. Zipper? Yeah, that they, oh my, they uh, said. He just scratches it, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They scratches the, yeah. He goes, hey, I got this badass you idea. You hear them walking towards you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't even need to scratch it. All I need, I just need like 20 yeah. Gs. Wait, really quick. Isn't that really funny how when you're camping and you're inside of a tent, or am I the only one? That when you're camping, you're inside of a tent, and I close the door. For some reason, I feel like I it's like soundproof almost. And, but then when I hear you guys outside and like hear. making like you know walking and stuff, I'm like, oh shit, there, this really does not provide any sort of like muffling. Yeah, I'm in the tent, and I can hear people snoring. 
Yep. Yeah, what yeah. do you think they're doing? I think they're sleeping. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you can hear every single rustle. <laughs> it's because it's reason, not soundproof when you close I, it. I know that, oh, but because okay. it's enclosed, I feel... You think it is, yeah. Yeah, I feel like... Psychological. Yeah, but you know when you're in a room and you have like the, the TV on and the, the fans blasting in your ear, but like... It's white noise. It's white noise, it's like you forget about it. Yeah. It like equalizes. True. That's how I feel like camping is. So imagine if I'm camping, right? And then Nadim comes over, he scratches the tent, and I open it, what's up? And he's like, yo. I got this best idea. I'm gonna make the best kebabs. I just need 20 grand for the kebab truck. Let's fucking roll, buddy. Bam, let's do it, right? And then like we just go and and tour California with Nadim's kebab truck. Or once if I was like, yo, like I got this crazy idea. Like we should move into a house now. We have the money to pay for it. We could sleep when I shower properly and not sleep on the floor. <laughs> and then he's like down and he takes his tent and he puts it in a room <laughs> in your house. <laughs> Cause I got this tent, I don't need a TV. <laughs> yeah, he lives in your backyard. Yeah, yeah. Yo, there's this technology. Like, wait, as an investor, you don't need to live together. You just no. buy you a house. But I'm like, okay, dude, like you love nature. I got this crazy technology that you could just stare into this uh, little screen that can transport you anywhere and you'll save the money that you'd be on. I'm, I'm sitting on his couch, like watching the screensaver of the TV of nature, and I'm like, this is fucking dope. You're just watching the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it's a portal, yeah. dude. Dude, they should fucking invest in this shit. It's his tent. It's like right to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got you this, this dope, it's like a room inside of a room. It's called the closet. You can sleep in there. <laughs> oh, oh, next level. It's a room in a room. Mm. Yeah, I think those things excite me, right? And then if I if I can do that every other month or whatever, and I just, it, some of them will win, some of them will fail, maybe most of them will. It doesn't fucking matter because that kind of stuff, uh, I don't know, it's it's fun to me, you know? That I like those kind of experiences and then that that's building, right? Even like simple things of like minimizing how much you're spending on like food or Netflix oh, if you're not yeah. watching it, all these other subscription things that you're like, oh like a porn hub, like you know that's adds up, you know? Yep. You have a porn hub subscription? But, but do you feel like do you feel like let's say uh you like commit you you're not camping, you're not visiting nature, you're like you live there now, right? So I feel like knowing my personality, I might go minimalism because it's like cool. Right, and I like delete everything and I just take my tent, I'm very, very chill. But then if I stay out there for years, I'm gonna eventually get a bunch of shit for like outdoors. I'm gonna have the sickest bike, the sickest rope, the illest knife, nicest compass, greatest magnifying glass to start fires, awesome pots, you know what I mean? Glass. It's, it's gonna yeah, turn like this. Too. Yeah, I'm like, that's a big ass magnifying glass. Wait, Where do you store what? that? That's not minimalism. It's gonna oh. fucking torch a whole tree. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you wanna live? Like actually in nature or? He's uh, like LA River. Smaller house. Oh yeah, I could I could stay in van a life. Horse. I I could do van life. I mean, I haven't really Get thought an it RV. through. But I just feel like me using that big space is kind of wasteful because I'm not using it like to the full of it, right? So maybe a family would appreciate it more. So for me, I'm like, what do I really need? And then I was exploring the whole couple of weeks, and I'm like, okay, my bedroom, a bathroom my kitchen and my garage. Those are the only items that I really use. So that's like a 500 square foot spot. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. But I actually use my garage for a lot of other things than just like, I don't even park my car there. I ha that's my gym, that's, you know, so yeah. And, and so you could almost get away with just like a public storage unit and like a bush. That's I can. <laughs> or get a house where the garage is bigger than a house. I can do that too. So it's like six car garage and the house is like this. Yeah. Dude, that's our house. Is like that? the downstairs, the, I feel like our garage is like just the same as like the kitchen and living room and all that Pretty space. much, yeah. How many car garage do you have? Two. Mm. Oh, that's big. Yeah. Damn. But now we added more living space <laughs> in our downstairs. Now that we're doing our backyard, it really oh, feels right. like an extension. An extension of the downstairs. Living yeah. spaces. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's different. Like, like, you know how like when you lived, um, at your first house, right? And it was perfect for like two people. Yeah. But then when you add a baby and then uh, Gio's mom and then all the dogs and all that, then it feels small and yeah. it feels like, oh, you need space. Where I feel like me alone, it's just yeah. too much space, even though the space is small. Just get a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that or is a way. If you don't have a boyfriend, Sponsored a, by Adam and Eve. You get some plastic oh, pussy. You get a plastic pussy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dildo, silicone dildo. Woo! All kinds of different sex toys to spice up your sex life, even if it's by yourself. Because Adam and Eve says the best part of staying home is playing at home. Yep, that's safe sex. 
Take advantage of the downtime and choose a almost any one item at 50% off, baby. When you do, you also get 10 free boredom busting gifts, including six spicy movies, Whoa. a three piece bonus kit, and the best of all, free shipping delivered discreetly right to your door. So go ahead and make all those nasty choices because your neighbors aren't going to be able to see. Yep. Just remember to use the offer code OTR. That's OTR at checkout. Adam and Eve has thousands of products to make you glad that you are staying at home. Sex toys make being at home so enjoyable. Hell, even shopping from home is more enjoyable when you are shopping sex toys. Yeah, because there's no one that can shame your ass. That's so true. AdamandEve.com and use offer code OTR and get one item at 50% off. Wow. You know. I imagined like the discreet packaging of like a giant dildo, right? But it's just like perfectly shaped as the dildo. <laughs> but it's it just discreet on it. Like, yeah, true. <laughs> Man. That wouldn't be very discreet. They wouldn't do that. It's been a while it since I discreet. fucked a I fake it pussy. A, it was a, a meme. Well, they got the packaging, it was supposed to be discreet, and it was like just two balls in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was it though? It was something no, innocent, wasn't ping it? Ping pong paddle and two balls. <laughs> right. I think oh, it yeah. Was something, something funny like No, I think that was a sketch we were supposed to do. But then when you actually open it up, it was like a rose and like something nice. No, I remember seeing that. It was, was like some something? innocent toys, but it looked like, it looked phallic. Oh. I don't remember. But anyway, so you want to live in Oh yeah. Um, van? I, I'm just considering a lot of things. I think it never really occurred to me. I got so comfortable. You know when you get comfortable, you kind of get used to something? Because I love my place. I love the neighborhood. Everything's pretty good. But then I, I, I think I'm thinking more along the lines of like, how can I enhance the quality of my life? You need a van life girlfriend. Maybe. Maybe that, I mean, I don't, I, I'm just considering everything, like sail, sailboat, living in a boat. Like there's this dude, right? That's he cool. parks a boat and it's like a fucking yacht. It looks sick as hell. Him and his brother live in it. And he's paying like just a couple hundred bucks a month and this sick ass boat. And then all of these apartments around him are like $5,000 a month. Dang. And he's sitting there and he's like, on the water. On the water. Was the boat wow. like a quarter million dollars? True. Oh, true. Uh, the boat looked pretty sick. Like it's like it looked like hundreds of thousands of dollars, but he's only paying a couple hundred bucks a month. Really? I thought that. Story... Start me off with a couple hundred yeah. thousand. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I thought parking your boat, just like parking an RV or any of that. Like, That's probably why he's paying the couple hundred. And you know. Yeah. So right? so if if you add everything together, it's only a couple hundred bucks a month. Uh, individually, so maybe like it's like a thousand or whatever if you add it all up, but just between him and his brother. Yeah, it was just it was just really good, and I was just like, what the fuck? So I think there's this whole movement too going on with uh, millennials and Gen Z, and we realize that we don't have to be as wasteful as our parents' generation. And like, for me, aren't we more wasteful? I am. I think it depends on who. We're maybe we're more, more wasteful. Cause I actually want wasteful. a ranch. I want like a. 40 acre place that I could go like off-roading and camping and doing stuff on that I know no one else is gonna be there but me and my friends. Yeah, that's what my cousin's trying to do in Orlando, so that's why they were looking into that property. Remember I mentioned earlier? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, Had like an airplane hangar, right? Yeah! Crazy. I'm like, what in Orlando? Like, that's freaking crazy. But our parents' generation and like even in between us, like the boomers, right? You were stigmatized if you didn't move out and buy a house and do all the cookie cutter shit. True. Whereas our generation is questioning that shit yeah. and we're like, why do we have to have a mortgage? Which why do really we have cool. to do that? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm like, now that there's so much info on being financially um, like intelligent and being an investor and all that, we didn't have access to this info when yeah. we were younger, right? Yeah. So like now that everyone does, they're like, Oh man, I'd rather be like Elon and just fucking go a thousand percent on what I believe in and just live in an apartment and then like thousand times whatever, you know, like, I don't know. And then though that's being accepted now and also like in, you know, having roommates in your late 20s wasn't an accepted thing. It was kind of, and, st and still in some places it's still not accepted, but in LA, how the fuck are you going to survive? Yeah. That's true. Do you remember uh, the beginning of that one Sublime song? Like, he was living in an apartment with two other people. And then, do you remember that? Like, smoke two smoke joints in the morning. Yes. Yeah, and so they were smoking marijuana cigarettes. Yeah, marijuana Reapers. cigarettes. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. So even in that little like yeah. bit, of, like the audio clip, it just highlights how having roommates were just so frowned upon. Even like. Yeah, it was weird, yeah. right? So 
I think even that concept, people were pressured to spend money. They were pressured to have like that life. And I think that a lot of our parents' generation went into debt um, because of the stigma that they didn't want to have. Uh, they'd rather be in debt and buy the house and keep up with the Joneses and just have the cars and all that mm -hmm. than uh, to live with the shame of like doing things they want, maybe, you know, the alternative way or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because even back then too, like they were, there was so much like shame for hippies and things like that, like doing things out of the norm. Everyone's like, wait, you have to do the same thing that I'm doing. And if you're not, then something's wrong with you. <laughs> so it's like, what the you have roommates. What's wrong with you? Are you poor? Mm -hmm. It's like, actually, I am. I just graduated college, a hoe. What That's do you expect? E even if you go like super minimalism, is there something uh, that you like cannot live without that is kind of like a. I would like to have access to a legit bathroom and a legit kitchen. So like if I live van life, right, it would be kind of nice if even if I park it somewhere, I can walk in to like a like a commissary or some kind of like group thing and then you have access to this to 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 being able to cook cuz I don't like cooking and peeing and showering in a confined space. Yeah. That's all. You see those extreme luxury RVs? Yeah. Like the ones that they open up on both sides and it's like yeah. two floors where you can walk up the bathroom. <laughs> that shit's crazy. Bigger than the size of this bathroom. Yeah. The kitchen's like huge where it actually has a dining yeah, table. Those are the type of RVs Isaac wants to go RV trips in. Cause like, he's like, we should go on an RV trip. I'm like, those okay, like, like, like what's the entry level RV? He's like, he's like, watch this YouTube video. And he's like, yeah, we're not affording that Isaac. Those ones have like master bedrooms. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, he's RVs a man that has that are, taste. Yes, he even is. like even when we pass through homes, he yeah. loves that super super sleek contemporary modern look. look. Yeah, like very clean lines and like the homes and stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, I know what type of person, like what type of pa bachelor he's gonna be. Mm -hmm. mm. He's he has taste. He's a, he's an engineer, artistic boy, like a like an architect boy, right? Yeah, yeah something yeah, like yeah. that. Like very minimal, mm -hmm. modern, yeah. contemporary. Those square houses that look like shapes, and then like there's like one parasite. stone in the middle. Yeah, parasite. Oh, home. that's a beautiful yeah. house. Parasite home. Exactly. Those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, when it comes down to that life, I think confined spaces are okay if you are parked in nature. So like, let's say your van is where you sleep or whatever, oh, yeah, but then so like- Conceptually, the second you walk into your living like, room, you're not confined. Like you have like everything. Gigantic So views. that balance is okay. Yeah, but if you're parked in downtown LA, it's just kind of sucks. Well, cause, all right, so like three things, right? One is the, the, the if you need to pee or whatever in the middle of the night, um, it, it's just that life. You gotta just kind of bend, you just gotta live with it, right? Another thing is like um, noise. So if you're in the city, Someone might bang on your door, bam, 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 fuck around with you, whatever. Your car might get towed, whatever. Those inconveniences, I think, um, might fuck it up a little bit. Sure. So, but if you're in nature all the time, you don't hear freeway noise, you don't hear nothing. So I think that's cool. I know, I've never lived in that, like in, in quietness until now, because of the city that we live in, it's like super, dead silent at night and it's just so strange for me because my entire life even that one year I spent in Mexico because my family's not from a ranch it, they're from like the the city. the city like the main city so I have never experienced what it's like unless it's vacation time but like just to live there I've never experienced what it's like like to just have zero sounds and then only hearing nature like birds or crickets or whatever, yeah crickets or whatever it is where I'm like this is weird <laughs> like it's really weird but it's really nice it's a nice change for me because it's just it's really tranquil and I'm able to like actually hear my thoughts and I'm like whoa it's so weird to not have the sirens of like police cars like every five minutes that's what LA is like or helicopters like, and shit. do you feel like if you actually do go and go on kind of this pilgrimage for yourself and like get into this minimalistic place and like leave the city and just go outdoors and like stay really really chill and stuff are you also going to keep up with like going ons of society or news? Or yeah, I, I mean, it's or not. Like, come back and be like, what's been going on with this? Yeah. Oh, kind of like you know Jared I mean? Leto? Yeah. <laughs> he was gone yeah. for two weeks. He didn't even know Kobe died. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing. So, yeah, it was crazy. Where was he at? 
He was in some like no like retreat type of thing, no like phones, silent retreat yeah. or some shit. Dude, imagine yeah. just coming back like that huge of a celebrity dies, COVID, the world's on yeah. lockdown, and you're like, that's exactly what happened to him. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. That is. I would insane. think it's a joke. Like, there's just no way this is real life. I still feel like I, I saw it all go down, and I'm like, this is. A Imagine joke. he's like going to some retreat. He's like just praying. He's like, honestly, the world's so fucked up right now. We need something terrible to bring us together. He comes back. He's like. This is weird. This is too far. I'm sorry, I asked for this. I'm sorry. I said bring us together.